Welcome to another adventure in engineering. In this video, I make my first functional 3D printed parts and show you how I set up the print for maximum strength and minimum print time. I have a filament dryer I want to mount to the top rail of my uh, Ender 3 S1 where the spool holder is currently. I did a search on Thingiverse and found a few people had already solved this problem and posted some nice parts that I could use for the job. I really appreciate those people posting parts. I hope that I am helping others to create their own parts using my videos. When I loaded the parts in Cura, their orientation was not desirable to me for a couple of reasons. By rotating and printing the part on its side, the filament lines cross the shear lines, uh, making the part stronger, such as at the base of the dryer and at the uh, top bar mounting point. It also conveniently removes the need for any support structure. In addition to minimizing the support structure printing, I also decreased the print quality to use a 0.28 millimeter thickness for the filament. For structural parts like this, it wasn't very important to me uh, to have a fine look to it. And the thicker filament may actually be stronger. So um, it speeds up the print time and I don't think it hurts my print in any way. Don't forget your leveling and Z offset. And don't forget to put some sticky goop on your bed, especially if you're into that sort of thing. Printing the second part becomes pretty easy because all you have to do is peel up the old part, put down a little bit of new glue, and go again. The sensor mount bracket also came up in an orientation that would have been pretty awful. It would have been a, a really weak part and it would have required a lot of support structure. So by turning it on its side, it uses a lot less support structure, really only under the, um, the place where the screw goes through. And then it also creates a much stronger part by running the filament along the lines uh, where it would be in the bend pattern. So uh, this became a much better part and a much faster part to print by doing it this way. The support structure came right out just by prying it with my finger, so that was kind of nice. I used a four millimeter screw and just self-tapped into the part and it seems to hold just fine. I don't think it needs any more strength than that. Uh, initially I mounted it on the wrong side and then moved it, but uh, no big deal and it looks really good and the dryer is mounted on top of the machine and it looks uh, just fine. Looks like it's going to work great. Hope this video helps you with your project and thanks for watching.